In this video I'm going to show you how to use the technical Photoshop action. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this photo here as an example for a demonstration of the action. And this is the effect that it's going to create. Okay, so as you can see what the action does, it will turn uh, your photo into the, into the sketch and uh, the areas that you have brushed will be turned into the painting. And the painting is made from random fields, so every time you run the action, even if you use the same brushed area, you're going to get unique results, okay? Uh, the, these uh, painting forms are always going to be a slightly a different, uh, they will have a different form and uh, will be a, a little bit differently arranged, okay? And uh, the action also creates a three different textures, uh, 15 color options, so there is a really a lot of options for customizing the designs. And uh, I'm also going to customize this effect and create uh, this one here. So this is the pure sketch effect, so you can uh, if you don't wish to use the painting effect, you can simply hide some of the layers and then just uh, customize the, the sketch layers, okay? So let me just show you a few more examples that I have made using this action. So for this photo I created this. Okay, that's it. So let's get, just get back to our photo. So I'm going to close these two windows. Okay, so before you use the action, uh, there are a couple of things that you should check uh, to make sure the action will run without any errors. Okay, so the first thing that you should check when you open up your photo is that your photo is a background layer. So it should be called a background and have this little look icon. So if you got something like this or anything else, so just go to the layer new and choose a background from layer. Okay. And uh, then just click on the little arrow here and go to the panel options and make sure this option here at copy to copy layers and groups is checked. So uh, then just go to the image mode and uh, make sure your photo is in RGB color mode, edge bit channel. And also check the image size. So uh, your photo should be at least uh, a 1500s pixels wide or high, okay, I usually use photos that are about uh, uh, 2000 pixels wide or high and resolution can be anywhere between 72 and 300 ppi, okay. So uh, just gonna click OK and uh, to load the action just go to Window, Actions and uh, click on this little arrow here, Load Actions and just choose the action that can be allowed, okay. So the action will appear uh, in your Actions panel. And to load the pattern, uh, just choose, you can just choose the pattern stamp tool here and click on the little arrow here, then on, on this uh, gear icon and just choose the load patterns and uh, just choose the patterns that can be downloaded, okay? And you will see the two patterns will appear now in your patterns panel. So all you have to do now is to just go to the layer, new layer. So to create a new layer and it's very important to name it brush uh, exactly like this. So all letters must be uh, lowercase, otherwise the action won't work. So I'm just gonna click OK. And while this layer is selected, just pick a brush tool and I'm just gonna use soft brush. You can choose any color here, color does not matter. So just choose some colors so you can clearly see what you have brushed. And just brush, just brush over your photo. So you can just brush like this. Okay, and all you have to do now is to just select the action and click on the play button. So I'm going to fasten the video here and get back uh, as soon as the action is finished. And then I'm going to show you how to customize. Uh, I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how can you customize the results that you got. Okay. Okay. So the action has just finished. So I'm going to close the action panel and. Uh, uh, pretty much first thing that you want to do always is to just quickly close down all these folders and how to quickly do that is just to while this group is selected just hold control and alt for PC or command option for a Mac and just click on the arrow here 
okay so that way we'll close down all the folders and uh, let's see what we got here so the first layer here we got is a brush layer so this is the the brush layer that I have made in the beginning of the video and uh, as I already said the, the action is made so every time you run the action you will get a unique result even if you use the same brushed area so if, if you just remove this group here and just play the action again you're just gonna get a unique result okay so that's why you got the brush layer here so I'm just gonna turn it off now so uh, here what we got is the uh, overall sharpening and how you change the sharpening is you just click on the word opacity and drag it aside okay just like this and you can also click a little arrow here and then move this pointer over here and uh, I'm going to hide this layer here for now and uh, I'm going to we're going to see why later okay and uh, here we got the overall brightness so when you double click here uh, you can just move these three pointers to, to change the brightness of your photo so I'm just gonna change like this okay and this is the overall vibrance and saturation so when you double click here uh, you can change the vibrance here and saturation okay you can always click this letter here to uh, return it to the, the, the settings that the action have made okay so just gonna increase it a little bit more just like this okay uh, here we get the overall contrast so how you change the contrast is you just click on the word opacity and to drag it aside as you can see this is very sensitive okay and I'm just gonna set something like this okay uh, this is the photo tint, so you can actually you can change the density here, and you can change. Uh, you can choose any filter here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm not going to use the in this example here, so just gonna put it to one percent. And uh, here we got a color look, so you got a 15 color looks that you can choose from, and uh, 15 color look is turned on by default, so you can just turn it off and turn on any of these color looks, see how it looks, if you don't like it try with another until you find one that goes the best with your photo and what you can also do and what I'll usually do is to combine a few of color looks so you can just select this one for example and just change its opacity a little bit, just gonna lower it like this and then turn on this one here and also going to, to just change the opacity Okay, so you actually combine a few color looks. Okay, uh, here we got a textures. So you got a, uh, they're all turned off uh, by by the uh, default. And uh, what you have to do is to just select any of them, just turn it on. Okay, and this one here, the grid texture, I usually use when I'm using only the sketch effect. But of course, you can use it uh, any way you like. And uh, just gonna turn on the add noise and. Uh, can change its opacity here, okay. So just going to increase it a little bit like this, and uh, I'm going to use this one here, the the canvas texture. So I'm going to uh, set the opacity to something like this, and I'm going to use the help on texture. Just going to increase the opacity a little bit something like this okay uh, what we got here is the subject painting if I just turn off this layer you see so the uh, that uh, these, these are the fields that are made inside your uh, brushed area okay and here we got the background painting so this is the painting uh, that the, the fields made a little bit outside of your brushed area but also inside your brushed area okay and let's just first check this one here so as you can see and uh, they are uh, it's a fully layered okay the painting so you can simply uh, turn off some of the layers if you like just like this for example and uh, I can turn off this one uh, for now so you can uh, better see the, the difference that I made here so you can just hide any of these layers okay or what you can also do if you get a, some uh, 
uh, fields like these, empties, that, uh, but you have brushed or that area, you can select any of these layers, the selected layer mask, and just pick a brush tool and just brush with a white color, you're just going to fill that areas, okay? But it's important to don't select these three layers, uh, but, but any of these others. Uh, these three layers, you can see, have a little bit different, um, have a li they have a different uh, blending mode, okay? So I'm just gonna, uh, you can change the opacity of the any of the layers here. Okay, so I'm gonna increase the opacity of this one and uh, of these three, okay? So you can select you know, any of these and change their opacities. And if, because some reason, you want, uh, you want, for example, to also have this uh, painting effect over th over this area, for example, but you didn't brush it over there. You don't have to play the action again. You can just select this layer here called Paint More Areas. It says Brush White into the mask. So just select its layer mask, pick a soft brush, and with a white color, you can just brush uh, wherever you like, and it will fill any areas uh, to any areas into the painting. Okay, so that's why I got uh, this layer here. What you can also do here is to select any of these layers, uh, layer masks, and you can just move it like this. Okay, uh, you can duplicate any of these layers. For example, duplicate like this, and then move its layer mask. Okay. And uh, if you wish to remove any of the parts here, any of the painting, uh, you can just select this main layer mask here, and set the foreground color to black, and just brush like this. Okay. So let's turn on the background painting. So the first thing you check here is that background painting has a layer mask. So if you just hold the shift button, uh, disable layer mask, you will see it will then fill the, the the whole the whole photo. Okay. So this layer mask is preventing that. So uh, this layer mask is actually controlling that uh, these uh, color fills uh, of the background just go uh, uh, slightly outside of this brushed area. Okay, uh, as you can see, but not too far. But you can of course turn off this layer mask or select it and brush with the white whenever you like to, to make uh, it visible the background painting. Okay, and uh, uh, the background painting is also layered. You get the three layers here. And but I usually just select to just select uh, all three of these and just change their opacities or of course any of them individually. Just gonna select all, all three and I'm gonna increase the opacity a little bit like this. Just like that. Okay. And what we got here is the sketch folder. So if you just turn it off and on so you can see there's a sketch uh, effect and uh, you can see uh, here we got a at least the uh, first two groups are turned off so I'm just going to leave them like this and later when I customize the effect again to create pure sketch effect I'm going to uh, turn on these two layers and customi customize them okay now I'm actually just gonna keep all this settings like this and uh, so after I finish customizing this, this uh, example here I'm going to create a pure sketch effect okay I'm going to remove paintings and then I'm going to customize these layers here and um, what I uh, usually do when I uh, customize the effects, I just turn off these two layers, two groups, then just first customize the sketch effect, and then if I want to use the painting as well, and then turn on these two groups and then customize them, okay? And what you got here is the background color, so when you double click here, you can uh, choose any color, okay? And also, uh, what you can do with this layer mask here is to just select it and pick a last tool and just click a right click, a free transform, and uh, you can just decrease uh, the, the layer mask like this to make these er uh, fields go a little bit more outside of your brush area if you like. Okay. And uh, so now I'm just going to duplicate the whole image. Okay. So I'm going to create the, the, the pure sketch effect here and how I'm going to do that is um, I'm going to hide uh, these two groups, okay? And uh, I'm going to hide uh, these two layer, uh, texture layers, okay? So I'm just going to use the add noise and I'll just show you this one here, it's a grid texture, okay? And you can change its opacity or what it has to do is you, you can just uh, scale it like this okay 
and I'm not going to use the grid texture this time so let's just open the sketch folder and as you can see here you got a layer mask you can remove the sketch on the any places that you like just have to brush with a black color and uh, let's just turn on this folder here so it's called the diagonal lines you got the right diagonal lines and the left diagonal lines and uh, <coughs> excuse me I'm just gonna hide them off so I'm going to you can use both of course I'm just gonna use uh, left diagonal lines now and uh, you can just click on this weird opacity to increase their opacity and th those lines will be made only on the darkest parts of your photo okay as you can see and you get the layer mask also here and uh, here you can brush uh, with a black color to remove you can brush it to this layer mask here to remove any of these two layers okay and I'm just gonna turn on the shading here so the shading is layered as well you got a two layers here okay and I'm just gonna play a little bit with those opacities okay as you can see just turn on this one as well I'm just gonna drop the opacity a little bit just like that here we got a, a rogue sketch and uh, also you got here layer mask you remove a shading on any uh, you select this main layer mask, you just brush and if you like and you remove any of these two layers in that place or you can just remove individually some of these layers by for example you want to remove this one layer in some places then just select its layer mask and then just brush with the black okay and uh, uh, so the rose sketch and uh, you also got a layer mask here and you can just brush with the black we wish to remove it and it's a layer as you can see and as you go from the bottom to the top uh, th the bottom here is the most rogue sketch if I can say so okay and if I just increase its opacity you're going to see a difference and this one is the last rogue sketch so it's uh, as you go to the top they go they are more detailed and precise okay and what I like to do is to just select this one for example just play with the opacities Okay, just like this. You can always turn off and on layer to see exactly uh, exactly how it looks. Okay. And I'm just gonna leave this. And all these layers here have the blending mode color burn. You can change it to multiply for a little bit different uh, effect. Okay. And I usually leave them to color burn and here we got a drafts folder it also got a layer mask you can remove the drafts anywhere you like and when you open the the folder as you can see you got a, a two layers here large draft and small draft so this one here uh, is a uh, if you just uh, transform it a little bit more you see so it's uh, it's your main sketch uh, enlarged okay and this one is your sketch but the smaller uh, and you can just play with these opacities here okay I'm gonna increase it a little bit and I'm just gonna select this main layer mask so I remove any of those two layers and uh, I'm going to pick the brush tool and I'm just gonna remove some parts like this and this one here is the from the rogue sketch this line is just gonna remove it as well just like that okay and what you got here is the main sketch so if we just turn it over and on so it, this layer is actually giving the most of the details to your photo and you can of course change its opacity here you're gonna leave it to 100 and I sometimes change this color or more blending mode to the color burn so just experiment with that sometimes the multiply goes better sometimes the color burn you're gonna turn it to color burn now and uh, again here we got a background color uh, so when you use the pure white color you see that some details will not be so much visible but you can use a little bit darker color and uh, uh, there will be much more visible but you can also use white and then just change the color uh, blending modes of these layers from color burn to multiply there will be better visible as well okay and what I also forgot here is to create this uh, sharpening layer again uh, and why do you have to create again if you uh, you only have to create it again if you customize the effect here because just turn on this uh, 
And to, to normally you see that you got the edges of your photo here. So for example, you remove some of these edges here. This layer will still have those uh, edges and it will not give a proper sharpening. So after you finish with customization, just delete this layer and press Alt, Control, Shift and D or Command, Option, Shift, E for a Mac. Uh, to make a snapchat of your photo and just go to filter you probably have a filter already here if not just go to other high pass and set radius 2 pixels click ok and uh, change this blending mode to hard light and then just change the opacity to controlled uh, sharpening ok just gonna uh, use it like this and I'm going to create the same here Okay, so just gonna delete the layer, press Alt, Control, Shift, E, or uh, con uh, Command, Option, Shift, E for a Mac. And uh, just gonna choose it from here, change it to hard light, and, uh, and just change its opacity. I'm going to use a little bit less opacity than uh, this example where you got a painting. Okay, so uh, that's it. Uh, I'm just going to leave these color looks the same as he used here, as well as the as these uh, here. Maybe can boost a little bit the brightness here more, just like that. Okay. So let's just quickly see the before and after. So from this, we got this is that the pure sketch when you hide uh, the painting layers, and this is when you keep the both sketch and uh, painting. Okay, so I hope you understood everything, but if you have any troubles with the action or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.